All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, today's lesson is called multiplying polynomials using the box method. And the reason we're going to use the box method is because it's the most organized method that I know to uh, multiply polynomials. Okay? So let's begin. And remember, pause the video if you need to to copy down the problems or if I'm going too fast. So here we're going to go ahead and multiply these two binomials. Okay? Remember, binomial is the name for the polynomial that has two terms in it. So here we have a binomial. Here we have a, another binomial. Uh, this one with three terms is a trinomial. Okay? All right. So let's begin. So what you want to start off by doing is taking a look at each polynomial. This is a binomial, and that's another binomial. So we're going to have a two by two box. So we're going to have two rows and two columns. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw a rectangle. And then those are my two columns. And here are my two rows. I have a total of four boxes. Okay. Now, for the 3x plus 5, I can write it across the top or I can write it across the side here. I'm going to go ahead and write it across the side. So the 3x goes in the first row. And then the positive 5 plus 5 goes on the bottom row. The 2x minus 7, I'm going to write it across the top. So it goes on the first column here, 2x, and then minus 7 on the second column. And then all you need to do is fill in all the boxes using multiplication. So here we have 3x times 2x, that's going to be 6x squared. 3x times negative 7 is going to be negative 21x. 5 times 2x is 10x. And then 5 times negative 7 is negative 35. Okay. Once I filled in all the boxes, that means I am finished multiplying. So now I just have to look for like terms, just like we did with the other assignment the day before. Okay. Notice here how these two terms here, the 10x and the negative 21x, both have the same variable, so they're like terms. So I can go ahead and combine those. So basically, here's what I have. I have 6x squared minus 21x plus 10x minus 35. And my like terms are those two. So I go ahead and combine those. So 21 minus 10, I'm going to subtract because one's negative, one's positive. So go ahead and subtract, you get 11x. Now, since we had more negatives, that means my uh, result is going to be negative there. So I get negative 11x. And then simply bring down the other terms. So 6x squared minus 11x minus 35. This is my answer. And it's written in standard form, which means you write it from the highest degree to the lowest. So x squared, x to the first, and then you could think of this as x to the zero power. Okay? So that's it. Notice, by the way, I multiplied two binomials, and I ended up with a trinomial. Okay? Keep that in mind because uh, we're going to have some questions that's going to ask you what the result uh, will be, whether in binomial form or trinomial. But let's look at this one here. Here we have a two um, polynomial, a two term polynomial, which is a binomial times a trinomial. So one, two, three. So that means I'm going to have a two by three box. So this box is going to be a little bit bigger than the one we did up here. It's going to have three columns and two rows. So one, two, and then one, two, three going down. <clears throat> Go ahead and write the, po the polynomials along the side and then the top. So here I have 3x squared minus x minus 5. I'm going to double check I didn't do a mistake. Okay. And so now let's multiply. Let's fill in all the boxes and we know we're done when we're done fin filling in the boxes. 3x squared times x is going to be 3x to the third power. So I just added the exponents. 2 plus 1 is 3. x times negative x is going to be negative x squared. x times negative 5 is going to be negative 5x. 3x squared times 2 is going to be 6x squared. 2 times negative x is going to be negative 2x. And finally, 2 times negative 5 is going to be negative 10. So, now that I filled in all my boxes, I go ahead and write out the polynomial. 3x to the third minus x squared 
minus 5x plus 6x squared minus 2x minus 10. And then I look for like terms. So 3x to the third did not have any like terms, so that one is just going to come down. Then I have negative x squared and positive 6x squared. Looks like those are the only two x squared terms, so this is going to be positive 5x squared, or plus 5x squared, because 6 minus 1 is 5. Notice how I didn't add their exponents. The exponents remain the same when I'm combining like terms. Negative 5x and negative 2x makes negative 7x. Those are my like terms right there. And then finally we have the negative 10 or the minus 10. And that is the end of the problem. Notice here I multiplied a 2 by 3 and I ended up with 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, next example. Find the area of the rectangle. Now remember, to find the area of a rectangle, you multiply length times width, or base times height. Okay? So here we're going to go ahead and multiply. Notice I have a binomial and then a trinomial. So I'm going to use a 2 by 3 box. <clears throat> Those are my two rows and then my three columns. Okay, and let me fill in the information here along the side. So 5x squared minus 4. And then along the top, I have 2x squared plus x minus 3. And now let's multiply. 5x squared times 2x squared is going to be 10x to the 4th power. You add them. 2 plus 2 is 4. 5x squared times x is going to be 5x cubed. 5x squared times negative 3 is going to be negative 15x squared. Now let's do the bottom row. Negative 4 times 2x squared is going to be negative 8x squared. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And then negative 4 times negative 3 is going to be a positive 12. <coughs> now in the previous example, I wrote out all the terms. Here, I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms from within the box, okay? So I'm going to look for the first highest term, 10x to the fourth. So that's going to be my first term. It has no like terms, okay? And then I have uh, x to the third. Notice here, I only have one term that has x to the third. So that's just going to be brought down as is. No changes done there. The next one would be x to the second power. Notice I have two of those. So those are my like terms there. I have negative 8 and negative 15, that's going to be negative 23x squared. And then finally, I have two terms left, but they're not like terms, so I just bring them down. There are no like terms that go with it, so negative 4x plus 12. Notice how here I end up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. Unlike the last example, where when I multiplied a 2 by 3, in the last example I ended up with 4 terms, but now I ended up with five terms. <clears throat> so that's my answer for this one. Next example. Notice the way this is asked. It says, will the product, in other words, what I get after I multiply them, will the product result in a binomial or a trinomial? Well, let's multiply and find out. It's a two by two because I have a binomial times a binomial. So let's go ahead and do a 2 by 2 box. So 4 squares. Okay. So here I'm going to go ahead and put x plus 5 and x minus 5. Since it's a 2 by 2, it really doesn't matter whether I put the x plus 5 on top or on, along the side. Either way, I'm going to multiply all the terms. So here we have x times x is x squared x times negative 5 is negative 5x. 5x, sorry, 5 times x is 5x. And then 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. Like in the last example, I didn't write out the entire four terms. So I'm going to go ahead and just combine like terms from within the box. So notice here, x squared, there are no other x squared terms, so that's 
gonna be written as is. And then we have 5x minus 5x. Notice they're like terms, but they're complete opposites. One's positive five, the other one's negative five. Those cancel out completely. And I'm left with negative 25. So notice here, let's answer the question. Will the product result in a binomial or a trinomial? Well, we have two terms. That means it's a binomial. Okay? Last problem. It says here, will the product result in a binomial or a trinomial? <clears throat> so let's go ahead and uh, do this problem again using the box method. Notice it's a two by two again. So let's go ahead and make a box. And then they're identical, so just go ahead and write 2x plus 7 along the top and then 2x plus 7 along the left side there. And let's fill on the boxes. So 2x times 2x is going to be 4x squared. 2x times 7 is going to be 14x. And 2x times 7 again is going to be 14x. And then 7 times 7 is 49. Notice I have like terms here again. Let's go write the answer. So we're going to have 4x squared, the highest term there. 14 and 14 make 28x here. So we have 14x plus 14x is 28x. And then finally 49. And that's my answer to the multiplication. But what is the answer to the question? Will the product result in a binomial or a trinomial? Well, in this case, trinomial. One, two, three.